what impacts to seniors and, uh, and other people who are uh, most at risk for hard economic times. And here we have a situation where there's a greater need than ever, and the state is interfering with our ability to meet that need. So just an editorial comment. But, but yes, I think we should oppose this as strongly as we possibly can. And instead of individual counties taking action, uh, CSAC should be in the forefront of trying to organize concerted opposition and make sure everyone is on board for this because it's going to impact everyone. Uh, couldn't we entertain a motion here? So moved, Mr. Chair. Second. Uh, motion and second for the recommended action. Uh, any discussion of the motion? Mr. Chair, I made some minor edits to the last sentence that I hope that we could just pass along to the executive office. You want to read those changes? Yes, it just says, we urge you to continue to deliver this message on behalf of all counties in your district that will face financial devastation if payments are not made to counties in a timely manner. Could we underline the word devastation? Sure. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimous. And if we could just clarify for the record, does that motion include the additional um, CCs to CSAC, the governor, legislative leadership, yes. and Mr. Don Peterson? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay. Uh, five C CEOs report. Uh, did you have anything outside of the... Just a couple of s short, okay. uh, brief comments for you to notify the board that the executive office has been working with the city of Willits and the local business to try and retain that business in the city of Willits. We have been doing that through our economic development uh, staff. We've not been successful at this date with uh, bringing that issue to closure, but uh, wanted to formally notify the board that uh, we're assisting the city of Willits in trying to retain a local business in that community. Also, um, in uh, Supervisor Pinch's district, there is an issue that relating to broadband service in Covelo with some funding that was denied through the PUC, and our office is engaged with sending some letters of support for Willits Online to try and uh, secure that funding for them that has been denied by the PUC. It's really a timing issue about when they engaged in trying to move forward with purchasing equipment to do that. So at this point, they have some grant fundings that have only been extended to them for Laytonville, and the PUC has dropped off the Covelo section, and our offices will be submitting a letter of support under my signature to the PUC trying to get a reconsideration of that decision. So just a couple of brief items for you. I want to thank the CEO's office. I wasn't aware of this issue until about 9 o'clock last night, and so I got in and went to the CEO's office at about 8.15 this morning to get them on top of it, and they were already on top of it. So I appreciate that. So uh, any questions, comments for the CEO? No. Okay, we're going to skip on down to uh, agenda item 7A, committee reports and supervisor reports. Okay. It's on, we said we'd 1030, so I'm going to wait. <coughs> oh, okay. Okay. Any committee reports or supervisor reports? None? Tom? I just had a question regarding LAFCO. There was a change in membership apparently last week, and I did not know if the entire board knew that, and perhaps Supervisor Smith could comment. Supervisor Smith? On what? LAFCO. Oh, you can up your pen you want to call in? Yes, yeah, sure. Sure. Um, yesterday LAFCO had its uh, had its first meeting and uh, myself and Supervisor McCowan were sworn in as the 2009 LAFCO representative from from the Board of Supervisors um, and I and the new city representatives were sworn in as well and I think it's a good working group. Um, I will serve on the executive committee uh, of LAFCO and also serve as the vice chair and Supervisor McCowan is on the planning committee of LAFCO. 
which I believe will um, will be an active committee this year, uh, trying to formulate and assist the um, executive officer in how how we move forward on on issues of concern to the public and to LAFCO. Um, so LAFCO is in the process of formulating its budget. There was some discussion about how that budget process um, could could be to use once again the word transparent. Uh, and I think that was a, that was a positive discussion. Um, LAFCO did complete a number of the municipal service reviews last year. This has been a major um, task of LAFCO, and there were a number that were uh, were completed. And I think that again, that will be the mission of LAFCO this year: is to get as many of those. Um, completed as possible, ones that have associated annexations or other issues of concern usually rise to the top and, and because you, you, you need to really have those municipal service reviews done and on record in order to take action on other associated issues of special districts. So um, that's sort of a, a brief um, recap on LAFCO. The retirement board also met uh, last week and we received from our actuary our annual actuarial report um, quite a bit of discussion on that the board did not take action but a number of issues that will affect the county are under consideration uh, by the retirement board and they will affect um, ultimately they they would have an impact on and affect the contribution rate uh, particularly paid by the employer Mendocino County in this case so the uh, there will be uh, a meeting uh, February 8th that that will that topic will be reviewed and I believe that we are going to have um, a double meeting or an additional special meeting that same week in February so the, the board will have plenty of time to have a working discussion and dialogue with respect to what are the components that are in the actuarial report have a full understanding and ultimately that actuarial report will make its way to the board of supervisors most likely in March to have it be reviewed and discussed um, by this body thank you thank you supervisor Kovac uh, to supervisor Smith uh, we've heard it again this morning here some concern about uh, what is being reported as problems with the retirement system and the uh, the liabilities that the county may or may not uh, have incurred over the years and so forth. Uh, I understand, I, I know that the uh, our CEO is working at trying to address some of these issues, but the question I'm raising here is uh, what can you report, if anything, from the uh, Retirement Board itself in terms of dealing with what is out there in the uh, blogosphere, as it were, or the radio uh, public uh, with regard to the problems the county is uh, seemingly uh, avoiding its uh, responsibility to deal with these. Is, and I, again, I, I know that we are working at it at the county level, but uh, can you report on what the retirement board, how seriously the retirement board is taking these expressions of concern, uh, or should we uh, assume here that uh, the uh, materials that are available to the public uh, are self-explanatory enough to uh, provide a level of confidence in what we've done or the magnitude of the problem that is shared by other entities as well. So it's a big question. Yes. I, I know you can go in, right. you talk for hours about it, I'm sure. But I'm sure. saying just briefly, what has been done at the Retirement Board, if you could report on that? Well, I think that the Retirement Board is taking the concerns and questions very seriously, hence the, the one discussion, the introduction, if you will, of the actual report, a review of that, and giving uh, both uh, the Retirement Board members and the general public time to digest that report, bring that back next month, and actually create the special meeting that, of course, will be noticed and open, open to the public as well. Um, as Mr. Mitchell is looking at some of the uh, concerns with, with the county side of it, I believe that our, our, our new uh, administrator for the retirement system, system, Mr. Anderson, is doing a very similar process and is, is being quite vigilant about um, looking into financial concerns and questions as he is getting to know uh, his new job. He hasn't been here that, the, this long, but he's already looking at systems and procedures internally for better... Um, uh, internal controls with respect to management of the operate the day-to-day -day operations and then taking that one step further with respect to the